the this time of the year, you guys are using, you know, getting, you know, leg, legs are getting a little weak and everything. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling a little better, you know. I just been uh, been uh, better in shape, you know, better going and doing so. It's been all right. Um, you got Duke on your list, um, but one of the teams that people are always kind of curious about is Washington. Tell us about your relationship with Washington and kind of, you know, how that works. Yeah, I'm in the same office, you know, in central uh, Chicago, especially. So, you know, when people say Washington all the way on the West Coast, they'll be like, man, uh, why you pick that school? So, I just picked it because, you know, I feel like I fit in that program and, you know, I'm able to be effective too. And uh, I've been watching, you know, um, their, a lot of their games, and, you know, so I have a good relationship with uh, Lorenzo Roman and stuff. So, I always play the part. Um, you got a pretty long relationship there, right? Can you tell us just a little bit about, I mean, is that, that your dad and he go back? How, how did they know each other? Uh, my dad played with him in the NBA, you know, when they played with the Golden State Warriors. And, you know, he, um, when, when uh, Lorenzo was a rookie, you know, my, my dad just looked out for him and stuff. Nice. Um, tell, uh, there's another player out here, about to play here in a minute, here, the Washington's you know, also recruiting, you know, Aaron Gordon. Uh, tell us a little bit about Aaron. Uh, he's just phenomenal. Very athletic. He also crafty. You know, he's at the right place at the right time. And playing with him at uh, USA Basketball, you know, he's very good, but he's also unselfish. So you know, me and him play real good together. You know, we looking, looking, um, you know, in the process of the recruiting, like playing together one one day. Is that appealing to you? Is that kind of exciting to play with a player like that? You know, especially with your kind of point guard type of skill set. You know, so yeah. Um, how much far are you going to go the distance with your recruiting? Is this a, you know, how long you plan on taking this thing? Oh, I'm planning to wait, you know, just not, uh, just focusing on what's, what's, what's now. And, you know, when it's time to make my decision, when it's time, like, in two years, I'll wait. And, um, being, um, you know, you're highly touted, well, you know, the, saying uh, one of the best players in the nation, regardless of class, you always got to work on your craft regardless, being, regardless being number one number one or not. So what would you seem that you need to work on? Uh, you know, just my defense. You know, that's always an uh, aspect of the game that you need to improve on, especially if you're trying to be good on the next level. So my defense, uh, off ball, is trying to defend the screens because, you know, at the position, the two and the three, I'm going to have to guard, you know, shooters off the screen. So, you know, I have to learn how to play, play those positions. And at the next level, that's what you pretty much, two and the three, spot that's what you want to play, huh? Okay. I know you're like a little bit heavier back then. You've got the four spot. Yeah. I stay away. Yeah, I'm and still, comfortable, you... still comfortable playing the four spot. You know, people like guards. I can bring them to the block. You know, just just the height advantage. Exactly. When I saw you in um, Vegas and in Dallas, you know, you're down in the post and you know, good good fadeaway jump shot. And with your height, you can release the get a get a nice release on there. So how does uh, how does Coach Romar say that? What does he say? Or how is he how's he going to use you? How would he use you? Um, he hasn't told me, like, the way he's going to use me. But from what I've been saying, like, as far as Brandon Roy, Terrence Ross, those guys, um, you know, I'll just probably be on the free throw line extended, you know, making plays off the ball screen, finding players, and uh, also coming off those second screens from, like, from Brandon Roy's days. So, yeah. Um, do you have a leader at this point at all? I mean, I hear a lot of people talking about Duke and, you know, there's BYU for all. you got, it seems like, all these different – Teams for different reasons, Illinois, the hometown school, Washington, because the close relationship with coach. Right. Anything? Oh, no, I don't have a favorite, you know. Not right now as far as recruiting, but, you know, just I'm just a fan of all those schools. So. All right. Right on. Thanks, man. All right. All right.